What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Today's product is E-Elements Z88 Vintage Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. This awesome mechanical gaming keyboard has a typewriter style with brown switches, which are really quite tactile and light. They are quieter than blue switches, but not as quiet as red switches. It has anti-ghosting 81 keys and N key rollover, which lets you press multiple keys at the same time. Each key is controlled by independent switches for fast response. It has 10 RBG, RGB backlight modes. It has double shot injected molded keycaps that can be taken off and replaced. This keyboard is compatible with Windows and it's also splash proof. It's only 1.6 pounds and 12.2 by 4.8 by 1.4 inches. So inside the box, of course, we have the keyboard. We have this manual, which is in both Chinese and in English. So it does go over all of the lighting modes and the different functions of the keyboard. And then it also comes with a keycap removal tool as well as a switch removal tool and extra switches. So that's pretty nice. Um, makes it easy to replace things on it. So I'm going to show you how the product works and looks. But first, I wanted to mention my Patreon. Patreon is a site that lets you donate money to help support my channel. However, you get stuff out of it as well. For donating, you get perks such as extra drawings for giveaways, sneak peeks at future videos up to a month in advance, just, you know, to name a few. You can find the link for my Patreon in the description below. So I wanted to start off by saying it works great in game. I tried it on Paladins, which is my go-to game. Worked perfectly, no issues. Works just like all my other mechanical gaming keyboards. Uh, first thing I want to show you is the back. That's usually where I like to start. So as you can see, you can flip these up and down. It does have padding down here, um, some rubber padding so it doesn't slip around. Little holes to let out any liquid that may fall on it. And I like that you can actually remove the wire on it and replace it. So it is a micro USB to USB that can be replaced. So that's pretty unique because if you have just a damaged wire, it makes it easy to replace. And you just pretty much pull the wire and you can push it into place here. So you can have the wire coming out in whichever direction you need so it's not in the way. So I'm just for now, I'm just gonna push it. Actually, I'll push it this way to just show you what it looks like. Um, let me go ahead and drag the wire over. And then you just pretty much push it into place. And it is kind of tough to get in at first, which is probably a good thing because that means it won't come out as easily either. So let's go ahead and finish getting it. And it has it in two spots right here. So there we go. So now you can see it won't get in my way coming out from this side. if. You know, if you like to keep it right up against um, something, for example, uh, if you keep it right up against your laptop or computer, it lets you. It kind of gives you a little extra room. So it also has Velcro to keep the wire together. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that or undo it a bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. There we go. So it does a nice little effect when it does initially turn on. And I do like how many modes it has for. Um, pretty much its colors. So right now it it's actually, oh, apparently I didn't even realize it has a memory function. So it's on the last effect that I actually put it on. So I'm just gonna switch over to um, the, pretty much the last, or the very first mode that's listed on the uh, manual itself. So that way you can keep track as I go through it a little bit easier. So the first mode of course is just a lit steady mode. All the keys are lit and you pretty much would just press, um, here's the function button. Oh, sorry, real quick. Um, I remember last video, people were asking me to do a sound test. Uh, the reason I don't do it is because my camera, you can't really hear, but I'll go ahead and try to press it kind of uh, a little bit extra hard so you can kind of hear it. So let's see what you can hear. So it's, it is a pretty faint sound and that's because it is brown switches. Um, brown switches are pretty quiet compared to blue switches and um, they're a little bit louder than red switches actually. And they are Cherry MX equivalent so that's pretty nice as well. So anyways, so the first one is just a steady lip mode and you press function and uh, right, is it? Oh, let's see, oh sorry. Function up is to increase the brightness and down is to decrease it. And it can get pretty dim for if you don't want to keep people up. Um, 
And yeah, that's that's pretty neat of that. But if you want to switch colors, what you do is you press function plus or minus. Plus to go forward a color, minus to go back. So red, yellow, green, blue, dark blue, purple or pink, white. And that's the last one as you can see. And then just press it all the way to go back. So that's pretty nice if you just like having that one steady color, maybe it matches your gaming mouse. For example, my gaming mouse only stays at a red color, so it'd be nice to have the keyboard the same color. I do like how the overall color of this keyboard is white. It makes it look a little bit nicer in my opinion, it makes it look clean. Um, so anyways, to switch between modes, you press function and you press page down. It has a little cycle symbol on it to pretty much switch to the next mode. And this one is a breathing mode and to is it not? I thought it was supposed to be breathing. Oh yeah, it is. It's just kind of hard to see. Um, but it is breathing kind of lightly. And you can increase the breathing speed by pressing function and um, right arrow a couple times. So that's as fast as it will breathe. Um, I'll switch to a different color. Maybe it'll be a little easier to see. Maybe with blue it'll be... There you go. Now you should be able to see the breathing a little bit easier. And then you press function and down to slow down the effect. So now it's going to go super slow when it breathes and the transition will be a lot smoother. But honestly, the transition overall is pretty smooth even when it is at its max. And of course, you can still raise the brightness, change the color like I was doing earlier, all that good stuff. Next one is gamer mode. So function, page down, this is gamer mode. And the default is WASD is lit and the up, down, left, right keys are lit. All right, so the next mode, function, page down which is the neon mode, and pretty much it'll just be switching between uh, the seven colors. It'll just keep looping between them, and you can adjust the speed by pressing function and right key. So now you can see it's going a lot quicker, and function and left arrow key will make it go a lot slower. But I'm not gonna do the function up and down because that's just for brightness, and there's no point in messing around with the brightness for this since you've seen the max and min for both of those. So, Next one we have right here, and this is pretty much, um, there's, it's just no LED backlight. The keys will light up when you click on something, so it'll just light up a different color each time, one of the seven, uh, but you have to wait for it to go away before it'll switch to another color, so you see if I continuously press it, it's not gonna change, but then once I pretty much let it go, it'll start working again, and um, yeah, so press function and down to convert. Let's see, to uh, increase and decrease that, and let's see, and that increases the um, speed at which it will go away. So now I've decreased it so it stays a lot longer than before. Function and page down again. This is drift mode, so um, it pretty much will be a single color going back and forth, and you can switch between the colors as drifting. And then the last one is just a rainbow. Each line will be a different color and it will just pretty much drift on that and you can increase the speed for that as well, decrease the speed, brightness is already max, but um, yeah, so now for the next one, function page down, and this one is a running LED color, so it pretty much will go from the top down and then back up, so let me increase the brightness on that, so as you can see, it's just gonna wind back and forth. I call this more of a snake mode because it's pretty much snaking up and down, and of course you can decrease the speed, so it's, yeah, it goes a little slower. The next one is ripple mode, which is actually my favorite, so whenever I press the key, it'll ripple out from there. This one is my favorite, personally. Um, and you can increase the speed that they move at, decrease, so it takes a lot longer for it to get across. So there's a lot you can do with that. So function page down again. This one is a burst mode, so it's like wherever you press, it kind of makes like a uh, it lights up all the keys around it. So that's kind of nice as well. Uh, for space, it's just the VBNs are gonna be lit up for that. And it'll switch which colors um, it lights up each time too. So that's pretty nice. And then, let's see. Last one is just a ripple mode going across. Um, and you can change the direction by pressing minus and plus for that as well and increase the speed of course and decrease the speed to pretty much it just stops <laughs> um, that's pretty nice so if you like having it you can just make it go pretty slow until let's say you want this left side to be all red so then you just wait till it gets there and then you just stop it and there you go 
but that's pretty nice. Um, personally, I like just seeing the transition to continuously go through. Then of course it has its multimedia functions, which are going to be the F1 through F12. Those are pretty basic though, so there's no point of needing to go over those. But yeah, overall this keyboard is really nice. I like that you can switch the switches out and it even came with extra switches to switch them out. Uh, came with a keycap removal tool as well if you need to take off the keycaps. Retro style is really nice and I like that there's a little bit more spacing between each one since it is circular. Um, that makes it to where I don't accidentally press multiple keys at once since I can have that issue sometimes of accidentally pressing multiple keys at once. But this kind of makes it a little less likely that I would hit an extra key. Alright everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Link to this product is in the description below. Be sure to check out TubeBuddy and my Patreon below as well. Thanks for watching.